What is going on guys? Listen, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to sound like Autumn, also known as Twin Uzis. So let's go ahead and get into this preset. To start off with this preset, we have our auto-tune. So with the auto-tune, I went with a 10 retune speed as well as a 10 flex. Um, I also have 100 humanized. But when I recorded in my rec preset, I did have it at four retune, three flex, and then 100 humanized. But I do have a limiter on here that helps cut all of the frequencies. It acts as a noise gate to stop any background noise from getting in. With the EQ, I cut the lows and I have it slightly boosted in the high. Um, I also kind of dipped it in the air, but as you'll see later, I did add a little bit of fresh air into this preset to help boost up where we're cutting down. Um, with the compressor, I have a 36 threshold with a 14.8 decimal gain with a ratio of eight. With Soundgoodizer, I decided to go with Soundgoodizer C. I have it at about 55%, maybe 60, but I have the mix level on 93. You can have it at 100, that part isn't that big of a deal. I like to use fresh air because it makes my vocal sound a lot more clear, clean, and professional. So that's why I went with a 38 mid air as well as a 50 high air. I also added flangus on this preset. I went with a 50 depth, a 75 speed, a six delay, a hundred spread, a negative 25 cross, a 75 dry level, and a 75 wet level. I also have the mix level on 34%. Now going into the reverb, I have the wet level on 82% because Autumn does use a lot more reverb on his vocals than a lot more other artists that we covered on this channel. I have it on a 50 early reflection level, a 77 dry, I have the room size on 12, but I do have the mix level on 46%. The last thing for the main is the delay. And with that, we have it on a 30 mix level, but we have the output wet level on 100, a negative 54 tone, the 100 dry. We have the right and left panning at 38.1% with a 18.7 feedback level. And if you go down here to the frequencies, we're going to see we have a negative 18 low shelf. We have a peaking of 2.8 decimals and a high shelf of 7.7 .7 decimals. That's it for the main. So let's go ahead and look at how I layered the vocals because Autumn does layer his vocals as well. Now looking at the layering, it's the same exact thing. I have all of the same things. The only difference is I added a stereo enhancer. Um, I used the strings preset so it can have a nice contrast to the main vocals. I also turned up the flangus to 60%. I believe I dropped the reverb to 30 to 29%. Uh, mix level of the delay is now 22%. The frequencies are still the same, however. But yeah, I just added the stereo enhancer. And if you go to the stereo separation, I have it at 36% separated. So this helps it stand out even more because I'm having a lot of stereo on the layering. But getting into the ad lib, when I was live, they told me to make a autumn helicopter ad lib. So I got into it and I made it on the stream. I like to make sure my ad lib presets are the same as the main, just with different plugins to help make it more ambient and just have a nice contrast to the main vocal, similar to the layering. I like to add a fruity love filter. So with this preset, with the alley preset on this, I added gross beat. This gross beat will help you to get the helicopter effect. I chose basic one, as well as a 1.6 bit gate. And you're gonna see how nice that that sounds in contrast to the vocals. Um, I went with the fruity love filter. I have it all the way turned up. And that's all I added to make the helicopter alley fit perfectly and sound similar to what Autumn uses. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hear how this preset sounds. Oh, the 
wrap this up if you did enjoy this video do me a favor and drop a like on this video and also make sure you subscribe to this channel if you enjoy different fl studio tutorials as well as free vocal presets now if you are a fan of free vocal presets make sure you click this playlist on your screen where it'll take you to every preset that i've made or just go ahead and click this video at the top to see the latest video that i have on my channel and with that being said i'll see you in the next video Design.